Following the series of ultimatums issued by the NUR, ASU and NUPENG to the government threatening nationwide strike by the unions if some legitimate welfare and membership related issues are not conclusively addressed. An economist has warned the government not to allow the strike to commence as it will cripple the economy. Jacinta Obuku has more. It was first the Nigerian Union of Railway Workers, an affiliate of the Nigeria Labour Congress. The president of the union, Innocent Ajiji, while on a breakfast show, lamented that the take-home salary of the railway workers on level 4 to 6 is 26,000 naira. He said they have been surviving on the general minimum wage of 30,000 naira as the last time there was a salary review for the union was in 1983. We have the workers there and we are willing to do the work. But when you don't provide the materials for us to do the work, what magic do we perform? So in fairness to the administration of uh, President Muhammad Buhari, we are very satisfied with the infrastructural development that is going on in our corporation right now. And that makes every Nigerian to believe that since railway is passing through a turnaround like this, in fact, the life of the workers is even better. So, but the case is not like that. Also, the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, has given the federal and the state governments a three-week ultimatum. And then the Nigeria Union of Petroleum and Natural Gas Workers, NUPENG, a two-week ultimatum. All are pressing the government over the non-implementation of agreements entered with the unions. This got an economist, Gospel Obele, calling on the government to do the needful to avoid the strike. Quite pathetic that um, this, the strike conversation hinges on um, key areas of the sector of the Nigerian economy, speaking to education, um, infrastructure, and um, um, oil and gas, that is where, as it were. So um, it, it will affect the economy. Um, business activities will slow down. In some cases, it may even inform some form of artificial scarcity. Avoiding the strike action will be the best bet. He stressed that the reason for the continuous strike is because the government does not take the welfare of workers seriously. What is expected to a large extent is for government to be more proactive in its political will, first of all, and political, political commitment. It's high time for the government to sit up on honoring social contracts, which means on the welfare and functioning of the people in the society. Until that is done, we will keep going to the cycle of uh, strike actions and threats to go on strike. The thrust here is that the strikes can be avoided if the government commits to their part of the agreement reached. Jacinta Ubuku for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.